Two spring snowstorms were just too much for power companies across western North Dakota. But perhaps the hardest hit was the Montreal Williams Electric Cooperative headquartered in Williston. Pat Brink spoke with the co-op's public relations manager about the ongoing efforts to get the lights turned back on. We serve uh, a little over 18,000 services, so uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty catastrophic. Montreal Williams Electric Cooperative had a major issue. One they'd never experienced. We've had ice storms, winter storms come through and summer thunderstorms that knocked down a lot of poles and lines, but uh, this is a record setting one this year. I've never seen anything like it in, in 35 years. With the extent of the damage and the large number of people impacted, the cooperative had to bring in help to fix the situation. I think we've had uh, roughly a dozen different contractors and, and cooperatives. Uh, that have come in and helped out uh, bring in anywhere somewhere around 150 uh, contract employees that have really helped and really uh, allowed the co-op to reach the goals that we did. The number of residential customers without power has been going down each day as repairs have been made, but there is still work to be completed. So right now we're right around 123 residential uh, services still out of power. We had hoped that uh, We'd have everybody back on by the end of the week, but uh, this rainy weather has uh, slowed progress. Once all the residential customers have their power restored next week, the cooperative will turn its efforts to the industrial customers and the equipment in the oil fields. For KX News in Williston, I'm Pat Brink. The general manager of the co-op estimates the recovery efforts will cost nearly $20 million.